Museum and to our snow train. 
The line we're riding on is a former branch line of the Chicago Northwestern Railroad. This was just a little branch line that ran from North Freedom out to some iron mines. Back in 1903, um, they started the village of LaRue because of the two iron mines in that area. And um, the track was built out to the mines to just haul the rock back for, to, from, from those mines. And um, it uh, didn't last very long. The iron mining in this area, they were very excited about it. The people in North Freedom thought that it was going to be, they were going to be the new iron capital, like another Pittsburgh. And as it turned out, they changed their name to, to Bessemer because a man named Bessemer from Scotland invented the um, steel making process. But uh, all that really happened was their mail sometimes got routed to the, Union, to the upper peninsula of Michigan because there's a Bessemer, Michigan. So they ended up changing their name back to North Freedom because the mining didn't last very long. It lasted until about World War I. The mine shut down and this track would have been torn up except that there was a deposit of a rock called quartzite found about a mile past the roof and the track was extended a mile and that's where we will stop today just on the outskirts of that quarry and uh, the quarry operated until 1959 and then our actually what happened was the railroad put the line up for abandonment our railroad museum came in 1963. the coaches we're riding on were built about 1916 1917 by the pullman company of chicago they were used uh, by commuters going to work in New Jersey. Probably these ended up in Hoboken, where people were going to catch a ferry to go over to New York, where they worked in Hoboken. That was the terminus. And they were set up, that this was a commuter railroad, people going to and from work. They set this up, like in Chicago, if you're familiar with commuter railroads in Chicago. These were set up so the railroad never had to turn the cars around. They can walk the seats over back and forth so that the conductor or the crew did this every time so the railroad didn't have to turn the cars around. Some of these have a metal strip still on them. I don't know if there's any in this car, but there are in some of the other cars. And what would happen is, if you rode this every day, you just stuck your ticket then, and then you went to sleep or read your paper, um, and uh, the conductor could just come along, punch your ticket, and stick it back. So for 50 years they used these cars, and now we're using them. No air conditioning, They're just been opening the windows, they have steam heat down here. They used to come off steam locomotives and these bare shelves to put your stuff on. So it was pretty pretty simple kind of cars, but they used them for 50 years and now we're still using them. And in fact, it's also interesting, they used them into the 1960s. They have these open platforms. You can't really walk between the cars safely if you're a passenger. Um, but um, we like them because they're from an older era. They're metal and they hold up really well for our, our museum. Um, I mentioned that there was a, a, a mine, and I said I'd point out where the track was. After we go across this road, there's a silver box that's for the signals. And that actually sits on the right of way of what used to be the railroad line that went over to those rocks over there by those pine, big pine trees. And there's a cut over there through, the tr through there that's a driveway now. And it went through there and it circled way back to that mine that I pointed out before. And they had a siding we'll be stopping today at the quarry. Although the quarry is not operating really very much anymore either. So it's, um, we're ba we basically just use the line to, to give people trips back and forth. This is our first weekend open since we had a big flood last June uh, when our um, equipment was uh, sitting in water. Our engine that's pulling the train today is actually, it's a diesel, but it's a diesel electric. And the electric motors are down on the bottom where the wheels are. When those electric motors get, got wet, it basically we couldn't run the engine. They had to be shipped to Appleton to be rebuilt. This engine was built by the American Locomotive Company in Schenectady, New York in 1944 during World War II. It has 660 horsepower. We're coming up on LaRue, and I might as well just hang out a second so I can tell you about LaRue. We're going to come through the trees, and there's going to be LaRue Tavern on the left, and the coffee shop's on the right, and that's it. There's a few houses to the right, and, and there's nothing else here. But when the mines were here, there was there were churches, a hotel, several more taverns, a bunch of houses for the miners to live in, and all of that is gone now. LaRue is a ghost town. Feel free to grab any of us as we're going through the train. If you notice that we're one of the volunteers, we'd be happy to try to answer your questions. We hope you enjoy your trip. Uh, we're glad you were able to come out and visit us today on this beautiful fall, uh, winter day, and uh, hope you have an enjoyable visit. Oh, by the way, the grounds are open until 5. 
if I forget to mention it, we have a gift shop in the depot, but there's also a big red building opposite the water tower where we have some of our room equipment on display that's been restored. There's what's left of LaRue right there. Hello, LaRue. And goodbye, LaRue. Now we're on the double track here at La Rue. Thank you. 